Hello, this is Pastor Dan Swadley. I was told when I was growing up that I needed to focus more. When I was young, I didn't really understand what that meant, but now that I'm older, I see, feel, and hear all of the distractions that want to take my attention away from sermon and lesson preparation. Focus on the Bible commentary helps me do exactly that. Focus and concentrate on what the Bible says for my life and the listeners in my congregation. Each of the 42 massive volumes of Focus on the Bible Commentary is written by a well-respected evangelical pastor or scholar. Let me show you some examples from Ephesians 6. So now we have the Focus on the Bible Commentary opened. My left-hand pane shows Be Strong in the Lord, which is the section in Ephesians starting with verse 10. This is what I'd like to show you today. You'll see a nice little outline on the left-hand side under Focus on the Bible Commentary, and then over here is the actual text. The commentator breaks it down into the Lord's mighty power, and he uh, expounds on the different meanings of that and how that applies to this section. Then he talks about the enemy. And again, a uh, good exposition, not only of uh, the New Testament, but uh, he brings in the Old Testament and how that uh, Satan tempted uh, Adam and Eve in the garden. And then he starts talking about the armor and the armor of God. And uh, what a blessing this particular passage is. And uh, he does a wonderful job with this. Before he gets into the armor, though, he compares and contrasts the armor with the uh, God's armor in the Old Testament. And I really appreciated being able to look at the Old Testament's armor and how it compares to what Ephesians says that we as Christians need to put on. And then he goes into the uh, individual parts of the armor, the belt of truth, the breastplate of righteousness, well-shod feet, the shield of faith, and then, of course, the helmet of salvation. And again, a wonderful exposition on all parts of the armor of God that we are to put on. Finally, the last thing I will show you is that there is a further application on this particular section of the Bible, and this covers Ephesians 5 and 6. Both for personal study and for sermon preparation, this is the part that kind of brings everything all together. And I love this because he brings out... For example, first, we should note the importance Paul gives to prayer. And uh, again, this is where he brings out the things that are just extremely important in these uh, uh, particular areas. Next, he brings out, secondly, we need to be careful not to give Satan too much power. Some Christians talk so much of the powers of darkness and forces that they think Christ had never come and conquered. Uh, wonderful section, further application. The Focus on the Bible commentaries are ideal for preaching and teaching, as well as personal Bible study. I'm Pastor Dan Swadley. May God bless you as you prayerfully consider the Focus on the Bible commentary as a part of Word Search Bible software to help you preach God's Word.